Here's a quick tutorial on how to use Photopea. I've had a lot of members ask me, how do you use the layers? How do you edit the layers? What do you do? So I'm going to show you real quick. If you've got some experience in graphics, this isn't too far off course from anything you've learned, except for the fact that there's layers. And layers are really the neat thing and, and really the part that makes it a graphic program right and really the thing that makes it a neat thing and, and be able to do so many different things with the graphics and it's so much better than Microsoft Publisher or using Word or almost anything else really so and it's a free version it's not the expensive Photoshop version it's just a free version of things that you can edit in Photoshop PSDs which stands for Photoshop document so let's say you're browsing around and you see a file that you like and you go ahead and you see the PSD. We've got these marked as PSDs. You download the PSD. That's kind of what I've done here. And then you go to File and you open it in Photopea. And then you're going to be looking at something like this when you open it. Now, you're going to be looking at all of these things over here, which are layers. And this is the important thing that you need to understand. You can make, make any one of them visible or invisible. See that? I deleted that or, or made it invisible. I didn't delete it. If I wanted to delete it, I would highlight it and then click on the little bucket garbage can here, delete layer, to delete it. A lot of times, hesitate to delete stuff. Mo mostly make it invisible if you want to. Deleting it makes it totally go away. Taking the eye off of it makes it not be seen currently or really at all for that, that matter. But for the most part, what you guys are going to want to be doing is changing your logo and changing some of the text. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do here in this tutorial. So we're going to click on, first let's start here, and you're either going to click on on the actual uh, logo or the item that you want to delete, or you're going to right click on your mouse and then that's going to pull it up. And a lot of the times you're going to have to right click on your mouse then you're going to actually see that here instead of going to find it. We're just going to make that invisible and then we're going to go up to file and open and place. And we're going to place in a logo, a different logo. And here we go. We'll place in the Hitman logo. And if you notice, it's up here, which is a little weird because it doesn't always go exactly where you want it to go. But it's up here. Also, if you notice when I'm dragging it over here, it's behind some things. Why? Because that's how layers work. So currently, it's invisible if I left it here because the order of this is actually behind where that is at. A lot of the times it's not going to be a problem if you click the exact thing like I just showed you, but just to let you know, that's why sometimes it's invisible. Now what you can do is you can always take that and move that this way and just drop it in different areas if you want it to be in front of stuff. But that's kind of the beauty of layers. When you understand it, it's really beautiful, <laughs> right? Until then, I understand that it's kind of not. So again, we're going to right click over here and then get to logo copy, delete that. Then we're going to, oh, I'm sorry, we should be going over here. And we're going to open and place again. Same exact logo. And now here's the different thing that we're going to need to do here. So you want to make this smaller. So we're going to come over here and we're going to make this smaller. Now if you notice though, it's not being proportionate. So we're going to go ahead and undo that. So if you mess up, all you have to do is start all over and open and place once again. And let's get the image here, drag it down, and let's go ahead and hit down shift, and then come to the edge and shrink it. And then you can get it to the size that you want it to be in. And then if this is still here and you want this to go away, click on the pointer here up at the top. Easy enough, right? Well, now you want to edit the text. All you have to do is go to the T, which is the text editor, go right over the text and click on it, and you're going to highlight this uh, particular text box. Now the problem is sometimes what you're going to experience is the layer that you're clicking on is beneath something and sometimes you do have to look for the layer in here. So keep that in mind. A lot of the times if it's text it's going to start with what the text is. Carpet makers recommend. Carpet makers recommend. And then you just go in and edit anything that you want to edit. And that's it. And essentially, and again, you want to get out of that text box, click the pointer. So essentially just to review, what you're going to need to be doing for text is clicking on T and then clicking on the layer. See how that works over here and you can kind of go over this way and zoom in, zoom out, move your 
mouse back and forth. You want to get off that text box after you add it, click on the pointer. Also, too, you can zoom in if you want to zoom in particular areas. A lot of times you want to look at something a lot more. You can zoom in and zoom out by going to View. Also, remember, let's say you want to replace an image. A logo is the most common thing, but I'm going to right-click and actually go to, in this case, Wetvac. I'm going to make that invisible. Then I'm going to go to File, Open in Place, and then we put that image in right there. Then to get out of that text, we click the pointer. That's it. Pretty simple. Play around with it. Uh, save your image so that you don't mess it up. As you go along, you might want to save several different versions when you're first getting started. But it's just about layers. That's all it is. Clicking it to make it in invisible and then file place. Changing the text with a T. Boom. You got it. Okay, thanks. Let me know if you have any other questions.